Tophus catanifer desiticola, or otherwise known as the Great Basin gopher snake. And this is a beautiful example. He's about three feet long, but when fully grown, will get up to seven feet in length. Now it's not uncommon to find these guys this time of year, springtime, out and about, searching for females to mate with. Now they're diurnal, which means they're active during the daytime. At nighttime, they'll find themselves a burrow in the ground, a rock or a log to hide under. They have very distinctive markings on their head. They have a black band that runs between their eyes and then to the back of their jaw. And that's a characteristic of this particular species of snake. Their body markings are very similar to that of the Western rattlesnake. And sometimes people mistake these for them as when these guys are threatened, they coil up and hiss very loudly. They also shake their tail a bit like a rattlesnake, but these guys have no rattle. But when they whip their tail against grasses or foliage, it sounds very similar. Now these are constrictors, which means that they wrap themselves around their prey and they crush it to death before feeding on it. Now they'll mainly eat rodents, but will also take lizards and sometimes small birds. This is just one of eight subspecies of gopher snake found in many parts of the USA. They live in a variety of habitats, ranging from woodlands, grassland, desert, and are especially common in coastal areas.